Dear friends, in this video we will see how to model a two dimensional cantilever beam with UDL in Abacus. And during the modeling in Abacus, please follow the consistency rule of Abacus. And now uh, we know the formula for deflection in cantilever beam due to uniformly distributed load. This value can also be estimated using Abacus finite element tool. Now let's start the Abacus session. create a two dimensional rectangle and uh, I have already a material library of SI units so I will take aluminium LY material from there then we will assign that section that means that material property to the part model now let's go to the assembly and now assembly has been created then we will go to the step model like uh, couple temperature displacement modeling mass diffusion modeling explicit dynamics modeling or uh, this static general modeling so here we are doing static general modeling we first create a boundary condition that means we fix the left one boundary of the cantilever here we are choosing in cast means all the displacement and rotation should be zero now we will apply the UTL Now we have applied the bonding condition in custard now we can see the output variables that need to tick mark we make it independent to miss the part in detail about each module i will discuss in uh, upcoming videos here i am just completing in short a uh, short video tutorial on abacus
see the element type here the plane stress condition here the plane stress condition and the it's a linear so the element type becomes cps 4r and ps is the plane stress condition and this are the reduced integration Now it's completed. Now see the results. First of all, we will see the one micelle is still. the reflection you can see at the free edge in cantilever due to UDF the deflection is excellent. are the analytical formulation for the deflection in cantilever beam due to UDL and you can validate the results this from abacus FEM result to the analytical result value Now let's see how to plot XY data in a Baker's. We will see how to see the animation. First of all, we slow it and then we can see how it's deviating from the original position.